first and foremost, you had to have it and you got it. Your thoughts? Yeah, we played good. I think we came out with a great first period. And um, second, you know, maybe it wasn't the best, but, uh, you know, we found a way to win. I thought we got really good contributions from everybody tonight. I think everyone was on their game and was uh, ready to go. And um, Igor was good back there. And, um, you know, a night when you can say complete team effort when we need it, it's a, it's a good feeling. You know what, Ryan, after game five, you know, you've got to prepare for game six. But as a team, when does that start? Or even individually, when does that start? I think right away. I think game five, we had a little bit of a salty taste in our mouth. And um, we knew we wanted to come in with a good effort, especially at home. And um, we're a resilient group. And, uh, you know, we've done it all year, it seems like. And um, there was a lot of confidence in that room today. And uh, we just wanted another chance in Raleigh. And that's what we got. And, um, you know, Monday will be a great game. You know, lots of times defensively, when your goal Goaltender makes a save. Uh, you refer, uh, reference the fact that he's, he's turned the tie. When you see another goaltender, uh, an opposition as an offensive player yourself, kind of struggling with it, does that I mean, force you to think of anything differently? Uh, he's been really good this series, honestly. I think, you know, obviously tonight he uh, he got chased, but uh, Rant has been really good for them. He's got good numbers, and they play a pretty sound defensive game. It's hard to get interior chances against them. So um, I think, you know, tonight we tried to throw pucks at the net and try to get a little bit greasy and, um, you know, just the way it went tonight. Obviously, we haven't had that type of luck in Carolina, so we got to try to bring that on the road. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, just good to get one here and uh, live another day. And Philip Hedl, uh, you know, brilliant uh, back to back shifts in the second period. Yeah, you know, he's he's been really good for us lately, and uh, he's got a ton of speed, and he's playing with a little bit of confidence right now. And obviously, with a backhand like that, it can, you could tell he's oozing confidence. And, you know, everyone's been stepping up for us in the playoffs, and that's what that's what winning's all about. That's what team the, a team's all about. And uh, it doesn't matter which guy it is, or which line it is, or how old you are. And um, I think that's what this group has, and that's a special feeling. And, um, you know, you never know who it's going to be on any given night, and uh, he was great tonight. And you did reference very quickly playing in Carolina and now you're game seven in Carolina how do you crack the code change all the superstitions up and see what happens <laughs> uh no obviously they're good in their rink uh, the record shows it and uh you know I think we've played pretty well there uh we've had some chances in game one and two just couldn't couldn't quite break them and uh we're gonna have to bring a you know a good effort obviously we know they're a good team and um you know we just want to give ourselves a chance we did that tonight and uh we'll regroup tomorrow and get ready to go and finally how much fun has it been playing in this building it's unbelievable. It gives me chills. You know, every time uh, from the anthem to, you know, the chancellor of the game to every time there's a goal scored, it's a, it's a special arena for a special reason and, uh, and everyone's getting to see it. And it's nice to have family and friends and to uh, really experience it as well. It's nice to, uh, you know, share this with them. And, um, you know, the boys are all fired up on the bench. So it, uh, it honestly couldn't be better. And, you know, now our job is to try to get another home game. Well, exactly. Go get them. Have uh, fun down in Carolina. Thanks, Dave. Your night, 37 saves, two assists and a penalty. Um, that's not an, uh, that's a rare night for a goalie to have all that happen. Just take us through your night, what you thought about it, and and all you know, just the, 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 to be as involved as you were. У вас была очень незаурядная сегодня игра. 37 сейвов, две передачи и один штрафной, две штрафных минуты. В общем, необычный, необычный вечер для, для вратаря. Какие у вас мысли, как вы можете... Расскажите нам, пожалуйста, про свою игру сегодняшнюю. Сегодня была очень важная игра. Нужно было обязательно побеждать, что мы сделали. Провели хороший матч насчет двух передач. Как бы ребята сами все сделали. И я просто, можно сказать, оставлял им шайбу. А насчет двух минут как бы немного погорячился, хотел выйти за ворота, остановить, понял, что не получается, поехал обратно и как бы столкнулся с игроком. Вот. Я думаю, он завалился только с того, что он был меньше меня, так если какой-то большой парень был, то ничего бы не произошло. Well, tonight was definitely an important game. Uh, we had to win, and that's exactly what we did. About the two assists, honestly, I think it was mostly the guys who did all the work. I just left them the puck, and, and they delivered on what they had to do. With about the two minutes, uh, I think that was a bit, a bit of my mistake. I shouldn't have gone that far. I just wanted to get behind the net and met with the player out there, to be honest. Uh, he was a bit on the smaller side. If he was a bit bigger, uh, I would have probably been the one who fell over. Nice shots that you made. Uh, just feeling very confident these days when you have the puck on your stick in the offensive zone. Yeah, it feels good. Uh, even before that first goal, we had two on one with Lofty. He made a nice, nice pass. Just 
miss the net, but try to keep shooting uh, every time is a chance. And uh, how I said many times in these playoffs, uh, even when we don't score a goal or uh, it doesn't go to the net and they block it, we still get the chances of these shots and, and we are first on the pucks and, and we can keep the possession. So that's the important. And, of course, I'm happy that I helped the team uh, win the game. Tammy, can you talk about uh, your team, the way they came out from the drop of the puck with the energy? Да, хорошо сегодня вышли с огромным удовольствием играли с энергетикой. Ребята играли в тело, так что радостно видеть нашу команду в такой форме. Yeah, I'd say it was it was a great performance tonight. The guys showed big enthusiasm, great enthusiasm. Uh, they played their hearts out, and it was just a joy to, a joy to watch. Phil, what did it do for the team to see Barkley Goudreau out there after not having him since the first round? Honestly, I didn't even know that he's playing today. I just came to the locker room before the game, and I, I saw him getting ready. So I was, I was surprised, but I was very happy for him, and and he was, I think he made made a huge difference for us in this game, and. Uh, he's a great player for our team, so of course he helped us a lot, and and it's great to see him back. Artemi, it looked like you guys were playing much faster, especially in the first period tonight. Was that just more energy, like you said, or did you guys make any adjustments or changes, or did you feel like maybe you guys were just moving the puck better tonight? I think we just want to win tonight. I honestly just think we, we really want to win. That's what it is. Artemi, you, you go ahead. I was just gonna say, did the, the style tonight, did you feel like you had, you had more fun tonight? Did you feel more like yourself? In the first period, yes, but then the game was a little bit of a 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 lost a bit of its momentum, there were less attacks. But overall, I'd say, yeah. Artemi and Phil, um, what does it do for you? Igor is there to make saves. But when he is as involved as he was tonight, what does that describe what that does for your team? Igor today has been very Он участвовал сегодня на поле почти как полевой игрок. Как это помогает команде? Конечно, всегда отлично иметь такого вратаря, который, в принципе, осталось начать забивать. Honestly, it's great to it's always great to have a goalie that whose next step is only to just start scoring goals.